Welcome back to Let's Play Beyond Good and Evil. I'm Burning Dog Face, and this isn't even close to the right game. Yeesh. Just a second. I stupidly forgot to make a comment on it, but that game I was showing off was FTL, Faster Than Light. Just so you know. Okay, that's much better. Now, uh, if you could just get me out of here... Thank you! Now, if I remember correctly... Yes. I needed to get through here. Oh yeah! A great big door. Or am I gonna... Nope! You know what? On the off chance that something horrible is standing right on the other side of that door. Oh, okay. That was convenient. I guess that wasn't really a door at all. Why is the camera at such a low angle? Not the most helpful things in the world, but okay, I'll take them. Oh god, this angle. Well, that was a missile launcher. No, no, that's one of those fucking turbo lasers. Fuck, the kind that melt you dead if you get seen. And yeah, there's a guy. Oh, there are guys. You know, this overhead view actually kind of reminds me of the quote-unquote stealth sequences from, uh... The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. No, thank you. I overheard them say they were waiting for a shipment of cases. We're on the right track. Fuck. stand here long enough, will one of them see me, or are they blind enough not to notice? More importantly, can I take any of them out? No, I'm, fuck it, I'm just gonna stand straight up and that guy is facing this way just to see what happens. Because if I have to stay crouching this whole time, it's gonna be super awkward. Okay. Nobody looks up. That is an ominous fucking camera angle. Okay, that guy down there... Yeah, that guy. Ever walks over here... Well, I guess I could take that guy out. Like, now? Fuck, I got really disoriented there. Fucking fixed camera angle. Shit, I can't hit him at all. I can't hit any of them from up here. There goes plan A. Which was to take out the guy below me with, uh, from relative safety, then take out the other two when they came to help him.
I suppose the real question is whether or not I can get back on this ladder. Oh, I hate this. This is great music for a stealth sequence, incidentally. Very low key. Fuck. Okay, here we go. Now, where the hell am I actually going? There's no button over there. But like an idiot, I haven't really been paying attention to the other side. You've got to be fucking kidding me. I'm told you can fight these guys if you can get behind them and hit them in the tank, but taking on more than one at a time is kind of suicide. Oh shit, not to mention... If I alert these guys, the laser that's currently ho hovering directly above me will melt me into Swiss cheese. That's a mixed metaphor, I meant to say melt me into nacho cheese. Swiss cheese is when they fill you full of holes with a machine gun. How good is the pit gonna do me? An investigate. I mean, okay. The presence of the pit suggests. I'm su assuming this is just a spot to hide during the uh, the stealth stuff. You know, because I've run into a few of those. I'm assuming the presence of the pit means that the laser won't kill me as soon as I. Alarm them. You know, like if I throw a thing into a guy's back, it won't instantly decide I'm there and kill me. It, it, I have to actually lay eyes on me to do that. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything useful down here. But, uh. God, I'm really, am I really going to have to play it this way? I don't even know if the guy by the door can even see me from here. If I'm standing straight up, I mean. That's where I wanted, wanted to be. Yes. That wasn't sarcasm. This is actually where I wanted to be. I'm hoping that the pipe will block the door guy's view of me. This does kind of block my shot of the other guy's tank. Fuck me. Shit. I'm going. Stay away from the entrance. I really wish I could have just hit, like, B and had Double H bash his way into the room. Because unless I miss my guess, none of their weapons work on him. S.E. Tech informed me that, uh, 
Double H's first name is Hubert. Although, uh, it occurs to me that, you know, crazy future planet and all that, it might be pronounced Hubbert. Because May calls him a hub. But let's face it, changing the pronunciation of the syllable to make a nickname is kind of weird. It would be like calling someone named Janelle Jane. Hello? You guys gonna get out of this panic mode anytime soon? Fuck me, where's the third guy? I think that is a third guy. There's another beam sweeping up from behind him. So fuck it, they're not going to stop doing that until I'm dead, so I'll just fucking load the game. Yes, sir. Okay, so that sucked ass. Hmm. I kind of hate this. Same fucking world. So, no, there is nowhere else I can go. Damn, this is that uh, side passage. So there's really nowhere to go except the door that that guy is guarding. Which makes me wonder why the guy on the far left of the room is even there at all. It would be different if I could just fucking sneak up behind him and strangle him. I don't think this is going to work. I overheard them say they were waiting for a shipment of cases. We're on the right track. I don't have any options here. Alright, I feel like being up here is... The idea is I'm supposed to plan my route. Okay, fine. If I can't take them out... The optimal place to be would be that corner. The L piece. So that I could sneak... Or so that I could wait until yeah, that guy is facing that way and to sneak behind him. Uh... See, I can get there. I guess I'll just... Because I have to be on the ground. This is kind of a wing it thing, huh? Oh, fuck. It's the wrong one. Yeah, fuck it, I'll wait. Not a great episode so far. You know, I'm really annoyed that those guys 
uh, never got out of alert mode there. I just actually had a uh, really... Oh, fuck. Oh, I've changed his timing! No, I've changed it completely. He's not turning at all. Huh. Okay, now that's happening. Looks like if they're not looking straight at you, they can't see you. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. put up with it halfway between, huh? <gasps> I mean, it might actually lead to a uh, issue with the stealth bits. I don't know how quickly I'm ever going to have to move in those. Still considered a stealth zone, but I don't, I don't see anyone. Fucking controls. Uh, I don't know where to start. There's kind of a bunch of different options here. Well, that I can open. Oh no, I can't. That's a uh, that's a key card, but no this juice. Button's dead. All right, if that's a place to start. I need to find a fuse. I guess I can do that. I was actually thinking just this morning about uh. I don't know if I've noticed that's not familiar. It was uh, the, the top-down view kind of reminded me of the stealth bits from, quote unquote, stealth bits from The Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. It's kind of like this. Uh, I assume I'm going to need this downstairs. Uh, guards that follow a very specific preset pattern and you can uh, sneak past them if you time it right. It's much simpler than this, of course. But, oh. This is clearly the place I should be messing with electricity, you know, when it's fucking ankle-deep in water. Kids, don't do this at home! Okay, ha, ah, I get it now. Uh, took away the juice to the elevator. No juice. Oops. Oh, fuck it. I 
I kind of hate those too. Okay, so you can go back down again. I probably should check out what's up there, though. Wait, is this a dead end? No, there's a whole bunch of shit up here. It's easier if this is a dead end, and it'd be like, oh, it's just treasure. Okay, the next time he goes around that corner like that, I'm going to shoot him in the back. Shut up, you. Oh, fuck. It's coming from over there! I'm going! I'm going! Harry Zoko made a comment that for once maybe the behavior of guards and stealth stuff is justified. You know, in the even if they directly lay eyes on you, even if you kill one of their comrades, if you leave and wait long enough, they will reset and go back to your uh, to their original positioning and programming. He pointed out, well, look at what they were doing to Double H. It's in all likelihood, all of the guards here are relatively mindless, brainwashed drones, so they probably aren't terribly smart, and I'm certain they're not great at creative thinking. You know, maybe this is a, a, a negative side effect of that effect. They're completely loyal, but they're kind of bad at uh, long-term thinking. Come on, I need to accomplish something. Hey, you all right? Order in distress. Huh? Alert! Alert! Ah. Uh. That's just him assuming I've been vaporized. I should probably be off. Actually, it won't be too hard to take him out. Once he starts turning again. Well, I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Beyond Good and Evil. When we keep exploring the slaughterhouse, try and make our way past more of these idiots. Later!